Traveling can obviously be a whole lot of fun, but it can be stressful if you're traveling for business. When this man found himself in Belize for a photography job, he was grateful to get away for a moment to enjoy a picnic. But grab your tissues, because what he saw certainly wasn't a picnic. In fact, it brought the man to tears. In December of 2018, Wesley White was traveling to Belize for business. With very little free time on his hands, Wesley was looking forward to kayaking to a tiny island in Thatch Cay. When he arrived, he noticed there was a puppy walking into a deserted fishing shack. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw his tail wagging, Wesley said during an interview with the dodo. Sadly, the dog was starving to death and would soon perish if Wesley didn't do something. My heart exploded out of my chest. He was just waiting for a human to show up. Wrapping the little dog in a pair of swim shorts, Wesley put the emaciated dog in the kayak. While on their way back to Thatch K, Wesley realized he had less than two days left in Belize, which meant he had almost no time to find a home for the puppy. Wesley figured if worse came to worse, he could bring the dog home. Bringing this dog back, I really had no idea if this was going to work, but my heart wanted it to. I was like, well, we'll get him home. He'll end up back in Montana with us. Fortunately, the employees at the hotel were more than willing to help. Not only did they give the dog a nice meal, but the bartender also located a vet's office on the mainland. After bringing in the dog, whose name was now Winston, Wesley found out he wasn't in too bad of shape. Winston was found to be infested with mites, emaciated, dehydrated, but otherwise his organs were healthy, wrote Wesley on Instagram. Sadly, Wesley was leaving Belize and only had one more chance to see Winston. It was like giving up my little puppy all of a sudden, Wesley said. After Winston received treatment, he was placed into foster care with a woman who kept in contact with Wesley the whole time. Meanwhile, Wesley made a GoFundMe account to help raise money. After a month, the vet gave his approval for Winston to travel by plane to Dallas, Texas. They would continue traveling by car from Dallas to Montana. Wesley wondered if the puppy would remember him. Is he even going to remember me? Well, it takes him just a few minutes of sniffing my feet and sniffing my pants, and I think whatever had implanted in his brain as far as memory just came back to him. Now that Winston has been reunited with Wesley, he seems to be thriving. Mr. Winston weighs 36 pounds now, 24 pounds heavier than when I found him in December. Having three dogs is a little weird, but I'm loving it, wrote Wesley on Facebook. Please share this amazing rescue success story with your friends and family.